Hey folks, Brett here. This video is a response to a Patreon question that was submitted by a subscriber. The question asks, is there an evolutionary explanation for the Fermi paradox, or are irrational species doomed to destroy themselves? There's a problem with the concept of irrational species. Any species that exists is in some sense a rational response to the environment from which it has come. Now, in our case, our species has another way in which it can be irrational, which is that we have conscious thoughts, and those conscious thoughts can be at odds with reality. But it is really impossible to have a species persist without it being sensible in some deep relationship with the universe. But that actually points to the, the answer to this question as well, which is, it is quite possible for a species to be in sync with its past environment and incapable of surviving in a future environment. So the Fermi paradox is really most likely about the fact that if you reach a point at which you can potentially travel and communicate across vast distances of space, you have inevitably discovered technologies that are capable of creating your undoing as a species. Now the question is, do any species manage to create those technologies and then not accidentally destroy themselves quickly thereafter? My guess would be it is possible to do, especially if you are aware enough of the problem that you can name something like the Fermi paradox, which points to the hazard. You certainly don't need to get run over by a car to understand why it is that you need to be very careful walking by the curb. You can learn enough from the thought experiment or from other people's experiences having hit by having been hit by cars to learn to behave safely. So a species that could recognize the hazard of self-destruction could potentially put safeguards in place that would uh, negate the hazard of the technologies that it had invented. But my guess would be it doesn't happen very frequently. That, in effect, what makes populations wise is repeated interactions with failure. And the problem is failure is not an option once you have things like nuclear weapons that can uh, unleash dynamics that can end a species with one single error. So for humanity, the most important thing for us to do is to recognize that even if risks seem tolerable, even if the risk of a nuclear war occurring during any year seems to be one in a thousand or one in 10,000, that risk is still far too high if our purpose is to survive in the long term. We have to find a way to get the technologies that are capable of destroying us under control in order for our species to continue to persist deep into the future. Hey folks, if you like this video, click like, subscribe to the channel, and if you feel like supporting the creation of more content like this, head on over to my Patreon page and sign up at whatever level feels comfortable.